to solve this inhomogeneous differential equation, we're going to need the uh, solution to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, which is just the exact same uh, left-hand side equal to a zero on the right-hand side. And the characteristic polynomial or the characteristic equation of the homogeneous case is going to be d squared plus 5d plus 6 equal to 0, which upon factorization yields d equals negative 3 or d equals negative 2. So we see that we have two real and distinct roots to the characteristic equation. So that means our characteristic solution, y sub c, is going to be equal to some constant c1 times uh, e to the power of uh, negative 2x plus some other constant c2 times e to the power of uh, negative 3x. Now that you have the characteristic solution, we want to proceed to figuring out something that we call the particular solution y sub p. And it's this particular solution that will complete our solving of the uh, differential equation. So the complete solution is y equals y sub c plus y sub p. So it's the characteristic plus the particular solutions that make up the overall solution to your differential equation. So what is the particular solution. That's what we're about to find and we can decipher some information about the structure of your uh, particular solution by taking a look at the structure on the right hand side here. So if you look at it closely you have 12 times x which is just a, lin a linear polynomial plus 12 times e to the x which is some uh, exponential function. So from, so from here we decipher that our particular solution, the particular solution should contain some linear polynomial in x. So the most general form of a linear polynomial is just p plus q times x, right? And uh, we also see that we have an exponential part. So there's an exponential part to the particular solution as well. And I'm going to write that as r times e to the just x. So this is the structure for your particular solution. Within the structure of this particular solution are the coefficients p, q, r, and these are the undetermined coefficients that we are out to actually determine. And how exactly are we going to go about that? Well, all you have to do is just write your differential equation. So this was the given uh, inhomogeneous differential equation plus 6 times y equal to 12 times e to the x plus 12 times x, correct? So what we do is we just plug in this uh, particular solution into our differential equation. So for that, we see that we need the first two derivatives of y. So y prime equal to the particular solution uh, equals uh, first y prime, of course. So y prime equals uh, the derivative of p plus qx plus r times e to the x, which is just q plus r times e to the x. And the second derivative is just r times e to the x, correct? So plugging in these, uh, these expressions for y into my differential equation and changing the color of the pen to give more clarity, we're going to get something that looks like r times e to the x plus 5 times all of this, right? So that's 5q plus 5r e to the x plus uh, 6 times p plus 6 times qx plus 6 times r to r times e to the x. And all of this is equal to 12x plus 12e to the x. Ran out of some writing space over there anyway. I hope it's... Uh, I hope it's visible. Yeah, it is okay-ish. And now what we do is we gather together the uh, like terms, like the e to the x terms. And we gather together the x terms. And then we gather together the constant terms. And then we compare the coefficients on each side of the equation that we finally have. So the uh, e to the x terms are just r plus 5r plus uh, 6r, right? So all of this is just a uh, 12r. So I'm going to write this as 12 times e to the x. And for the uh, x's, I think you only have one. No, wait, it's not just 12. It's uh, 12 times r. So there were 12 r's over there. And uh, for the x terms, I see that I have a uh, 6 times q times x. So that's just 6q. And why should I waste so much? precious writing space. So 6qx plus all those 
constant terms. What are the uh, constant terms? The constant terms are definitely just 5q and 6p. So 5q plus 6p and all of this equals uh, 12 times e to the x plus 12x. And now you can go on to compare the coefficients so that you can find them. So the e to the x terms should be, uh, they should have equal coefficients. So that means 12r is equal to 12, which implies that r equals 1. And then we see that the uh, for the x terms, we see that 6q equals 12. So q must be equal to 2. And we see that 5q plus 6 p there are no constants on this side so they must be equal to uh, it must be equal to zero which implies that uh, p was undetermined that's going to be negative 5q by 6 and q is 2 right so that's negative 10 by 6 or negative 5 by 3 hence we have the uh, particular and the characteristic solutions so the overall solution is y equals the uh, characteristic solution where the constants can be determined by the uh, initial value conditions so we'll see 2 times e to the negative 3x uh, plus uh, it was p plus qx right so that's going to be a negative sign minus 5 by 3 uh, plus q 2x plus r which was just 1 so e to the x and that is the solution to the differential equation